The Gathering Wave Choir is a small group of people who come together once a fortnight to sing. One of the difficulties facing people with uh, disability in our society is lack of access to high quality arts programs. Uh, one of the reasons why the choir works is because of the goodwill of community people in the choir who, if people aren't able to come to choir practice, will actually organise to pick people up and take them home afterwards. I really love the people in this choir. <laughs> Everyone seems to be supportive mm. and yep. friendly and appreciate Scott and others with disabilities for what they can do with not focusing on what they can't do. He loves it, he gets great enjoyment out of it, mm. he's made more friends. Some time ago, one of our long-term members, off her own bat, wrote these beautiful lyrics about what the choir meant to her. Um, in the hills where we all live, there's a choir that loves to sing. In the hills where we all live, there are some of us who love to sing. So we just got right into it, we modified it a little bit. And we were looking for the line for the chorus because we didn't have a chorus. And Scotty said, we're the gathering wave choir and when we sing, we'll set your pants on fire. <laughs> and it was... It was one of those moments and everybody started to laugh and we thought that's the chorus. We and when Scotty sang it, he just got airborne with excitement, so it was really, really obviously the natural run. It's that kind of joy that's in the choir and the ability to have a sense of humour, take risks, bring the audience with us on the journey that is what delights people when they come to listen to us. Uh, what I can be sure of is that when you come together, your brain switches off from the cares and the worries of the world and focuses very particularly on learning something new and working together. And when we get things right, after we've worked really hard at something, there's a kind of a, a hush that falls over the choir and we realise how much effort it's taken no matter how pear-shaped things go during rehearsal. You missed that part! <laughs> if you keep working at it, you'll get it to sound right and there's that moment of beauty and satisfaction when you do. Very good! That's the best you've sung it! Well done, well done! <laughs> I think disability culture is about, you know, having times with people who you identify with. And so identifying with other people with disability is really important and building that camaraderie and that sense of community. We sound better together than any of us would individually and that's as true for people without a disability as it is for people with a disability. It's that collective sound that we create. and. All the nuances of that sound, the colours, the textures, the timbres of, of that sound that make us distinct from other choirs. We have a couple of gardeners in the choir and um, I remember one of them saying that the choir is a lot like a garden. You tend a garden and you watch it grow. And one of the beautiful things about gardens is that not everybody blooms at the same time, you know, but things grow and mature and um, offer their particular kind of beauty or their colour um, at different times and I think the choir is very much like that. The important thing to realise is that there's no audition process, it's really an all comers choir and that no matter whether you've had experience or not, you're welcome. <laughs>
Great choir.